All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can see we're down here in Destin. We have our $100 eBay spear gun. Decided to get out and do a little bit of spear fishing. I have done miss like nine fish in a row. I passed the spear gun off to CC. She has a little warm up shot, misses her first shot on the mangrove snapper. Next thing you know, it's money in the bank for her. She spears her next two fish. Current gets a little rough on us. Um, we have to cut the trip a little short. You can see our free diving skills. We are diving down to about three feet. Um, but y'all, it's really fun. We don't claim to be good at this. We don't claim to know what we're doing. It's just something we picked up, something we love to do together. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy the footage. Like I say, I'm gonna show you a little bit. Here comes her second shot. Boom, right in the head. Takes it down, fish doesn't suffer. See, I have to come out the water because I'm getting sucked out the sea because my swimming skills are terrible. But anyways, y'all, I want to hope you appreciate the video. Here's a stingray coming up. I swim out, try to get a little better footage of it. He decides he's going to come towards me. I get a little nervous. Uh, back up a little bit, as you can see, because I don't want to get zapped. I don't want no crocodile hunter incident while I'm down here in Destin trying to have a good time but uh there was stingrays everywhere y'all this was a little one I'll make another video and show y'all some footage of a big one later all right guys back at the condo getting ready to use their fillet table right out here at their docking section there's where you can load your boat here at Sandpiper a little random information for you you don't need but all we were able to come up with today was the three mangrove snappers they are all on the smaller limit they have to be 10 inches here in the state of florida to keep and uh they are all really close this one here maybe 12 or 13 that guy there is really close to 10 that one there's close to 11 and i say close they are over um but that was our bounty for the day man i say it was water current all that was water was beautiful current was rough um, had the potential to kill at least 10 fish and we missed a lot I mean we've missed a lot so y'all I'm going to clean these show you how to clean the snapper real quick and then we'll do a catch clean and cook on mangrove snapper just my Rapala 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 flay knife that's kind of hard to say Rapala flay knife Little two dollar sharpener works great on these thin blade knives. That's where CC shot him and pinned him to the ground. Cleaning is just like basically any other fish, you follow that backbone down and you come out the other side. Take the tip of that knife, just feel that bones down his back, follow it all the way down. Pretty simple, just like cleaning a crappie. You could knock the rib cage off here, like go straight through and down, and then cut it out. But I, I prefer to leave the rib cage in. Just come over the top of it when I'm cleaning them. And filleting him, super simple. chunk of meat then you just repeat on the other side all right then we're going to take this guy these guys in and cook them up 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, my wife and youngest son are heading out over there to them docks to try to spearfish what is swimming in between them. It's something big. We have no idea what it is. I'm telling you, I'm not brave enough to go out there by them docks and spearfish. Have I done some sharks out here? And that water is murky. But I'm more than happy to stand here and film them. <clears throat> All right, we will see how long this lasts. Once you get in about four or five foot of water back here, it goes so green you can't see the bottom. They're slowing down. We are getting ready to cook this snapper, this mangrove snapper that we spearfished. Got a simple recipe we're going to use today. I'm going to put a little bit of slap your mama seasoning. Going to crust them with some uh, potato chips and just fry them in extra virgin olive oil. Make it real simple, real quick. Season up our our fillets with the slap your mama seasoning this is just the original it's thin fillets I'm not gonna do both sides now I'm gonna crush up these chips break the seal on it crush it up turn them into dust These are just classic, probably Lay's potato chips, but they're just a small bag that I had from East Bay Deli. Now guys, to help them stick, put a little bit of olive oil on our fish. Just a little bit. Pretty sure you can hear my puppy. She's upset that the neighbors are outside. All right. Lather them in that olive oil. Take these crushed chips and just cover them. Pretty simple. You could egg wash them. I'm just, for some reason, I'm not a big fan of egg washing my, my fish. I don't think you have to. I'm saying this was just three of them, what you seen me clean. After deboning them, there's not a lot of meat there probably a fish I should have cooked whole. Hi right, guys. Turn the heat back up a little bit. Alright guys, take our peanut, peanut, take our potato chip crusted snapper, throw it in the oil. Yeah, this fish was very thin, so it's already starting to turn white on the top side. Flip it over. Flip. As you can see, Chip stuck to the uh, fish with no problem. Didn't use any binder, no mustard, no egg wash, no mayonnaise wash. Just a little bit of olive oil on it. Slap your mama seasoning and then crushed up some 
plain potato chips. Battered them with that. Come out beautiful golden brown. They look nice and crispy. Let's get the camera turned around and let's do a taste test. Try to find one that's not so freaking hot, y'all. Straight out of the grease. Nice thin piece of fish crusted with potato chips. Slap your mama seasoning. Try to break it open. Easy, many Christmas, that stuff's hot. We have to wait just a second. Here's a little thicker piece. Nice white meat on the inside. Mangrove snapper that we spearfished. With that potato chip crust on it. Man, it's delicious. Probably like extremely unhealthy for you. But it is delicious. Y'all, you can probably see the sweat just pouring out of my face. I think it's 97 degrees today. And the humidity is whatever it's set on in hell. I mean, it is just awful. You can't walk outside and sit down without sweating. The humidity is so bad in South Carolina today. You can like see it in the air. But anyways, back to the fish, y'all. Nice flaky white crust or flaky white meat golden brown outside crunchy delicious appreciate y'all coming along with me I'm gonna take this in the house I'm not actually even gonna eat it today I'm gonna cook some more fish tomorrow have it for dinner probably shouldn't be talking to you with a mouthful sorry all right, guys, I got to get my mess cleaned up. I'm going to go in and sit down on the couch. Probably Netflix binge something with my wife. And I will get back at you when I get back at it. Check you later. Bye.